A warm welcome to you all this morning. This week's meditation is going to be on little acts of kindness. As we approach the festive season and celebrate the birth of Christ, in the madness and the busyness of our lives, it's easy to lose sight of God's love, God's peace and the gift of kindness that he gave us. Let me remind you that at Christmas, Mary's yes was her gift of kindness to the world. For through her, she gave birth to a saviour. She gave birth to Jesus. And Jesus' gift was not only to give us the Bible and words of wisdom and knowledge, but he gave us life. He laid down his life for us so that our sins could be forgiven. What greater gift can there be? than someone who was laying down their life for us. His kindness gave humanity a way back to God. It was the ultimate gift of love. St. Teresa of Avila says, to spread God's love and kindness, Christ needs us to carry out his work. And in the words of her poem, she says, Christ has no body but yours. No hands, no feet on earth, but yours. Yours are the eyes which he looks at compassion on the world. Yours are the feet which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands which he uses to bless all the world. You are indeed his hands and feet. Christ has no body but yours. And so as we approach this festive season, Thinking of Christ having no body but ours. What would it feel like to do little acts of kindness and compassion and be the advocate for Christ? Let us take a moment and reflect. When was the last time someone offered you kindness and how did it make you feel? Did you feel cared for, loved, valued? that indeed you do matter. Little acts of kindness mean a lot. Kindness is a fruit of the spirit. It's an outward expression of the signs that Jesus is in work in our hearts. The Bible reminds us to be kind and compassionate, to love your neighbour as you would love yourself. Do to others as you would do for yourself. Sometimes that can be really hard, especially if we don't like people. But God calls us to be his hands and his feet, to be his advocate, to reach out and touch the hearts of others. To spread his love amongst his people. Being kind is a way to share God's joy, God's love and bring sunshine to the world. As we embrace one of the coldest winters, can you show kindness to the homeless man or woman? Can you look into their eyes and see what Christ sees? Can you reach out to them in a different way? Being kind can be noticing someone, noticing someone's pain and suffering. It can be knowing that someone that you know is not quite themselves. Kindness is offering a listening ear, a smile or a hug. It's not always about solving their problems or doing their work for them. It's about being there for them as part of their journey. It might even be as small as a smile. Kindness is the little things. A small weed picked by a child who believes that flower is the most beautiful flower in the world and gives it in love to her parents, somebody she loves or he loves and cares for. It's holding someone's hand when they feel alone or are struggling or feel vulnerable. It's a text to say, hi, how are you? I was thinking about you today. It doesn't have to be a grand gesture. The little gifts of a compassionate heart 
can bring meaning and life to someone. It can make the difference from being cared for or not cared for, for being valued or not valued. If you're buying a gift for a shoebox appeal or the toy appeal, imagine the child receiving it. Imagine the parents who would like to do it for themselves but can't, or the caregiver that would like to do that and isn't in that place. Can you look at that child through the eyes of Christ as you choose your gift, reminding yourself that you are Christ's hands, his feet, and you are reaching out to others in need by a little act of kindness? In a world where we hear so much suffering, wars and conflict, be nothing but kind. Do what you can to bring joy and peace into someone's world if it's only for a moment. It may be a moment that saves their life, the moment that gives them hope, a moment of pure joy that they have not received in a while. Your little act of kindness can be there biggest gift of hope. In Ephesians, it reminds us, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. On the 30th of November, it was St Andrew's feast day, and he brought a little boy to Jesus amongst the crowd, and his little pack lunch fed thousands of people. Christ may not be asking you to reach out to all those people, but when was the last time that you shared your lunch with someone? When was the last time you bought lunch for someone? Or when was the last time that you just sat with someone in their company during lunch and took a lunch break? These little acts of kindness can bring so much love and hope to people. We often hear the phrase these days, the gift that keeps on giving. Isn't that Jesus' gift to us? He keeps pouring in his love, waiting for us to respond, waiting for us to be kind, caring and compassionate with everyone we meet. He's so caring and compassionate, he never judges. He just gently nudges and moves us forward to be his hands and his feet. Teresa of Avila says, It is love alone that gives worth to all things. And when I went to Lourdes, I met a little Indian nun who said to me, The way to show people's Christ's love for them is using little steps of kindness, the little acts of kindness, that if we do these little acts slowly and surely, will make a difference in the world. And we are doing our little bit to make a difference. God is calling you to make a difference. He's calling us to be his hands, his feet, his eyes, to show compassion to everyone we meet for those little bits and of kindness to make a huge difference in someone's life. Making someone feel values matters. So, do you remember when someone was kind to you and took an interest in you? Did it make you feel special, loved and cared for? And can I ask, do you want to make someone else feel that way too? For you are Christ's hands with which he blesses all the world. You are his feet that he walks throughout the world. You are his eyes that he sees the world, that he looks down with compassion. And it's your body that he will use for Christ has no other body but yours. Are you ready to be the good Samaritan, to smile at the unlovable, hold the hand of a friend, Give your time and support to someone who's lonely. Take time to have lunch with a friend. Through Christ's kindness, you may be someone else's 
Christmas gift. Look at your family, look at your friends, look at the world through the eyes of Christ. Be his hands and feet, remembering his gift of kindness for you was to give up his life so we can have eternal life with Christ. Let me pray that this Christmas that you will reflect that you will reflect Christ's love in all that you do. Be Christ's hands and feet. Be his gift of kindness and love and compassion to all you meet. And in return, may you be truly blessed with the gift of peace and kindness yourself. In Jesus' name, Amen.